To most people, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina was just a wasteland. But to two brothers who were bicycle mechanics from Dayton, Ohio, it was perfect. Absolutely perfect. The steady breeze, the shortened runway, they had soft sand for landing. Those same elements are alive and well in Mojave today. We have access to a piece of airspace that's a national treasure that's about 200 nautical miles by 200 nautical miles, and it goes from the surface, essentially, to the moon. I don't know of another place that has that type of uh, geography in this industry anywhere on Earth. We have a decided advantage just because of our location uh, right here in Mojave. Plus, we have the right attitude in the aerospace valley that this is just what we do. In Mojave, we have this cluster of highly uh, talented, innovative people. They're still fifth graders in a lot of ways. They don't know what they can't do. And so they're not afraid to try things, and they try things every day that don't work, in hopes that they'll, find, they'll try something that does work. It's more of a mindset. It's more of a what's inside that's driving these people. Jeff Greason, he was co-patent holder of the Intel Pentium 3 chip. What credentials does he have to come to Mojave, set up shop and become a rocket scientist of a leading suborbital and orbital systems developer? Well, the same argument could be made of Orbital and Wilver. What on earth did two bicycle builders have in terms of credentials to build the first vehicle to engage in flight and then powered flight. The goal of XCore is to try to bring the cost and frequency of space transportation to a point where we can make economic use of space. Lynx is our name for the suborbital spacecraft that we're developing and have been for a number of years. It's a small ship that takes the pilot and one person or the pilot and a payload from the runway up into the space environment and back down to land again. Our work is inspired by the same ethos that fueled Silicon Valley in its early days, and that competitive but also collaborative atmosphere drives us all to move more swiftly. That is that Wright Brothers effect carried into several different organizations on the flight line. When you look in the eyes of people like George Whitesides, George could have probably been successful in any one of 50 industries, just like Jeff Grayson, but they chose this one. The mission of Virgin Galactic is to open space for the rest of us. So our aspiration is to bring the price down uh, of space access and to open up the space experience to dramatically more people around the world. Right now our company is uh, doing two different things. One is we're trying to finish flight test uh, for our Spaceship 2 vehicle, which will bring thousands and eventually hundreds of thousands of people into space. And we're also building a new small satellite launch vehicle called Launcher 1, which will take small satellites up into orbit. Mojave is the perfect place for us because it is the center of aerospace entrepreneurial uh, development. If you go around the world, there's really nowhere else uh, where you can design, build, install, and test space equipment all in the same place. Literally, Mojave is the only place in the world that I think you can do all of those things at, at once. It's very simple. We now have 17 companies we have 19 rocket test sites. Uh, we have 155 basic contracts with different firms. This is the first time in the history of this airport in 40 years that the space industry now generates 50% of our total revenue. And that's a big deal. Kevin Mickey grew up in this town and now he's back as the president and CEO of Scale Composites. He carries on that legacy and if you will, was passed a baton uh, by Bert Raton. And now look what's going on at scaled. We excel at rapid prototyping and flight test. What we pursue is major milestone breakthrough projects, and that can be in aviation or now in space. Our most recent program is the program that you see behind us called Strato Launch. And the program is to create the world's largest wingspan airplane that would carry a booster to roughly 30,000 feet, drop that off, and then the booster would take payloads or passengers onto space. 
The enemy of innovation is the intolerance for, for risk and some failure. And the Mojave Air and Spaceport, with our partner Stu Witt, the general manager of the airport, he's created an environment out here where we can do things in a way that you couldn't do them anywhere else in the country. There's only one way to be totally safe, and that's stop. But where does that put humanity? There's something in the human spirit that wants to be a part of something bigger than themselves. We can't lose sight of that. And that's where this industry is. It would be very easy to just accept the fact that we went to the moon in my lifetime, and in my lifetime, we abandoned the moon. I'm not willing to accept that. Something is happening here. You can feel it. There's just a crackle. There's something in the air. I want to be able to look people in the eye and say, I was there. Were you?